Hey guys, Eric from Skeeter Boat Center in Ramsey, Minnesota. Um, just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the new um, Skeeter TZX190. This is a boat that Skeeter came back out with this season uh, for to kind of fit a, a little bit of a niche market, let's say, um, for that guy that maybe is looking for his first bass boat. Uh, maybe in the process of looking through, going online, checking out a bunch of used boats, things like that. Um, this is a boat that they released this year to try to make it a little bit easier um, for that guy to go out and instead of buying a boat that's maybe a few years old, maybe has a few little quirks here and there that somebody else dealt with along the way, um, this one is in a price point where you can, you can get a brand new boat, full warranties across the board, um, brand new electronics, new trolling motor, the whole shoot and match, but in that you know, low 30s, uh, low $30,000 price range. Um, kind of a big deal that way. There hasn't been a lot of boats there that's kind of, those boats have kind of gone by the wayside a little bit, but now Skeeter's trying to bring it back and making sure that anyone can get into this boat. Um, a few things that Skeeter does on this boat that's really pretty cool uh, is they do put some features in here that you'll find mostly on some of the bigger boats and whatnot. One of those for sure, probably one of the biggest deals about this thing, is the Yamaha 150 uh, VMAX SHO. This motor is an absolute beast. Um, on this boat, the performance is second to none. You can get up there, you're, you're, you're idling down the lake, you're getting where you want to be, all of a sudden you hammer on this thing, man, you're gone. This thing jumps right up on plane, flies, gets you in that mid 50 mile an hour range, upper 50 mile an hour range, no problem, drives like a dream. Um, one finger steering if you want to be that way, you're not fighting this boat at all. It just cooks right along and, and does its things, gets you where you want to be to get those fish. Um, does come standard with a uh, stainless steel SHO prop. Uh, that way, right from Skeeter, right from Yamaha. Uh, just a built package. Um, you order this boat, you wait for it, it comes in, you go ahead and, and, and pick up this boat. On your way home, you can hit the lake. You're ready to go. You're not having to think about, okay, now I need to put my electronics on. What trolling motor am I gonna go with? If you wanna go with talons or power poles or something like that on this boat, we can definitely add them for you. We have a full service shop at Skeeter Boat Center, both at our Ramsey location and Chippewa Falls. Any of those guys can get that stuff done for you as well. Um, a couple things I wanna show you that, to me, separate this boat from other 18-foot bass boats that are out there now uh, on the market. One for sure that I really think is a big deal are the seats that Skeeter puts in this boat. I found that in some of these boats in this class, let's say, uh, one place that a lot of the companies tend to, let's say, skimp uh, on, on the boat itself is their seats. They're just seats because they need them. But these seats are actually very nice, nice seats, good quality, um, great materials. You're not going to find that a couple years down the road you're getting your seams coming apart or your vinyls ripping and whatnot because that's not the kind of material these are made out of. Another nice thing I've noticed from driving this boat personally is when I've come across wakes or, or if I am on big water or whatnot, again, I'm not feeling myself bottoming, bottoming out every time I hit a wave or a good, size, a good size wake or something like that. They're just comfortable seats, which to me was definitely stood out in this class of boat. Um, Another thing they do, <coughs> Skeeter puts this boat on a um, easy loader custom trailer made for this boat. Uh, bunk trailer, so you're never going to be that guy at the boat ramp that's on and off and on and off and on and off and then once he gets it out he says, oh shoot, and he's over here pushing on it trying to get it straight on the trailer. Not going to happen. You can't load this boat crooked. Um, take your time, figure out where your sweet spot is for when you're putting it on the trailer. It's going to load up, be perfectly straight every time. Um, you do have your diamond plate step plates. Uh, Nice if you are, if it is a little damp or something like that and you're stepping out of the boat, hopefully you're not putting here and slipping off and looking like kind of a goofball with one foot up on the gunnel and laying on the ground at the same time. Um, does have the LED cutouts on the trailer, so as you're driving through town at night or whatever, you look pretty cool because your trailer's all lit up and you got a big old Skeeter uh, written right there. Um, tough coat trailer, so again, a few years down the road, I know here in Minnesota or in Wisconsin, you're driving along, you start getting chips and rust and everything on your trailer, not going to happen here. Um, as you go to the front end here a little bit on this trailer, it will come with a spare tire, which isn't, they don't all come that way. It is going to come with a spare tire. You got your Fulton winch stand. Um, you do also have your, uh, or your Fulton jack stand, sorry. You do also have your Fulton winch. A um, lot of power, good quality stuff there. Uh, hopefully you're not going to be spinning that winch backwards on this one like some others. Um, does have a swing tongue, 
if you do have a smaller garage or whatever, which definitely is the case in a lot of houses, you go into a housing development, you got these cookie cutter houses everywhere with the smaller garages, you can definitely fit your car in no problem. All of a sudden you get your boat home and you're like, huh, I'm a foot, I'm a foot too long. Well, pull that pin, swing it, you should be good to go. Um, <clears throat> you've got a couple things here, pretty cool lock here. Um, you can go ahead and back your, back your truck right up, jack that thing down, it's gonna actually pop up and pop right back down and lock into place. You don't have to putz around with trying to slam that coupler down or anything like that. Um, you do also have torsh, uh, I'm sorry, um, you do also have brakes on the trailer itself. So uh, when you go ahead and slow down your truck, your actuator is gonna actually push in, engage those brakes, slow everything down there. So you do have your safety uh, latch or your safety cable here on your brakes as well. Say, God forbid, some reason you're driving down the road, something goes funky with your truck or your hitch, um, boat comes off of the truck, yanks that out. Well, hopefully you're not the guy that the boat passes you up on the road. Um, that's gonna pull out, engage those brakes, slow the boat down and you ought to be good to go. Um, again, a few things, just thinking about it as we're going along here. Uh, the boat will come from Skeeter, uh, factory equipped with a Minn Kota 24 volt trolling motor. Um, also, uh, one thing I just thought of too that's kind of a neat feature, recessed cleats. Uh, I've been along the way, been fishing, whatever. You get to your spot, you, you fire up there, you grab your rod, you grab it off the deck, you go to fish, your rod tips underneath your cleat, snapped off, now your seven foot rod just became a six eight. Not always awesome. So. When you're not using them, put them down there, you're not gonna get them caught in there. Uh, I think that's gonna be about it for the exterior of the boat and the trailer. Let's hop in, we'll take a look at the uh, interior of the boat, and we can talk a little bit about that where you're gonna spend most of your time and hopefully be catching those big ones. Hey guys, here we are in the cockpit part of this boat. Um, one thing you'll notice right off the bat here is that I'm not a small guy, uh, six foot and at least 175 pounds, maybe a little more. Um, one thing I like about this boat for sure, again in an 18 foot class boat, you can see I've got my leg totally stretched out here. I've been in plenty of boats in this size where I end up eating my knees all day and it's just not a very comfortable ride. This one I can go ahead and kind of spread out a little bit, get comfortable, drive along, do my thing. Um, I go again, I get those waves and stuff, I can kind of brace in here a little bit, hang on and keep on running. I'm not worried about bouncing around and that sort of thing. Um, the dash on this boat set up really well. You can really get to everything you need to get to pretty darn easy. Um, you do have your your live well switches uh, for filling or for recirculating. So say you get out there in the morning, catch your first fish, you're fired up, you go ahead and put in a live well, shoot there's no water. Just go ahead and hit your auto fill um, or your manual fill uh, switch there. That's going to go ahead and fill your live wells up. Um, you'll be good to go there. Once they get full, go ahead and switch it over to auto. What that's gonna do is that live well will be on a timer. So every five, 10 minutes, it's gonna run some water for a little while, get some fresh water going through there, and then shut off for a little bit. So it's not draining your battery running constantly. Um, if you are fishing on a warm day, say, and your water's a little bit cooler in the morning, you may wanna fill those live wells with that cooler water, put your fish in there. Then what you can do is you can close your live wells up, hit your recirculate. You hit your recirculate, it recirculates that cooler water um, for a period of time. So now you're not bringing hot water in as the day warms and gets hotter. Um, that's kind of a cool deal. Uh, bilge pump, you'll have an auto bilge and you'll have a manual bilge. So um, as you're, if you do get into some inclement weather, it's raining pretty hard, whatever, everything's filling up, that will all automatically go ahead and, and bilge out that area. Um, you've got your light switches here, your master power. Um, you do have courtesy lights on here too. So say it's, you're going out early in the morning, it's dark out, whatever, you need to tie some lines or, or do whatever you need to do flip that LED light on, boom, it's gonna light up this area here. You can get your stuff tied up and do whatever you need to do. Um, the boat's gonna come uh, factory again from Skeeter with the Lowrance uh, Hook 5, which will give you uh, chirp sonar, GPS mapping, everything else. Put your map chip in here, boom, all of a sudden you got that lake you're on, see everything that's going on, mark your waypoints, um, go ahead and fish those spots again, uh, days in the future. Um, you've got your analog gauges, so you've got a fuel gauge, and voltage for your main cranking battery. Um, so you know where you're at there. You do have your tack and your trim gauge here. Um, if you get a spot where you find that happy happy place for your motor running with your, t with your uh, RPMs and everything else, quit, take a quick look and see where your trim is. Boom, next time you run across the lake, go to that same spot, you're good to go. Um, 
couple things too that they've, they've done that I think are pretty cool um, is they did put these rubber steps here. So for one thing, say you do go up to run for that front deck of the boat, you're not walking right on the glass here, scratching things up for one, or it's not quite as slippery. It's gonna be a little bit stickier for you. They do have over here, you've got a um, kind of a little rod holder for your co-angler, say, or if you're like me and you use way too many rods, you can go ahead and put your extras down here. You put the butts in here, run the rods themselves up the ramp. Once you're there, just go ahead and take this little bungee cord out here, snap it down, boom, your rods aren't gonna be flying out of the boat. You do also have your cup, cup holder there. So for me, I have at least one coffee cup here, maybe one over there to get me through till noon anyway. Um, so that's kind of the deal there. You got a grab handle for your co-angler if needed. Um, then we're gonna go to the back deck of the boat. You do have a ton of storage for, again, for an 18 foot boat. Um, you've got your lockable storage here on this side. Open that up, you've got your compartment. You can put all your rain gear, you know, whatever you need in there. Or again, if you've got a co-angler, they put all of their tackle in there, ton of room. Uh, you're not gonna be leaving stuff here on the floor because you ran out of storage space. Um, very nice. And again, close that up, latch it. It is lockable, so you're going, staying overnight at a hotel or something like that, you wanna lock all your stuff up so no one else walks away with it, go ahead and lock it, you're good to go. Um, the boat does have one single separated live well here. So it does have a divider under here, but it is all one live well. Um, big enough for, you know, pretty much any tournament bag. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully you catch too many fish and they don't all fit in there, but chances are you're gonna get them to fit. Um, over on this side, <clears throat> we have the same storage as the other side. Again, same thing there. So between these two, if your co-angler has more tackle than they can fit in there, they probably need to leave some stuff in the truck. Um, one thing, again, that I really, really like about this boat is <clears throat> the huge bilge area for where your batteries, your pumps, your charger, all that stuff is in here with a huge door. And again, everything is right there and very accessible. I personally in the past have had boats two feet bigger than this with a bilge area about half this size. So if I have to do something with a battery or a charger, I end up standing on my head upside down trying to get stuff done. Not awesome. This right here, anybody can get in there, um, get everything you need to get done, done, and you're good to go. Let's uh, hop up to the front. All right guys, let's take a peek at where you're gonna spend most of your time in this boat, uh, the front deck. Um, the boat is gonna come directly again from Skeeter with a, uh, a, a Skeeter bike seat um, installed there. You know, nice thing about that is if you are fishing for all day long, everything else, you can just camp out on that thing, sit all day. If you're a little taller, whatever, you can go ahead and raise it up a little bit. Um, if you're a shorter guy, put it back down there, you're good to go. Uh, the boat does have uh, another Lowrance Hook 5 um, flush mounted in the bow. Um, again, gonna be your GPS, sonar, everything else. Mark that spot, get right back to it, no problem. It does have another uh, recessed foot pedal tray as well. That's a big deal uh, in these boats. Uh, if you can remember back in the day, when before those pedals, we were all standing around with our feet up here. You couldn't figure out why after about four hours your back was killing you, everything else. Now, you're pretty much level with the deck of the boat as you're fishing up there. Works awesome. As far as the storage goes, you do have uh, matching rod lockers on either side. I like to say one for, you know, my life jackets, my throwable, all that stuff. Over here maybe, stick all your rods in this rod locker. Um, this one here uh, is gonna have a ton of room for say your 3,700 size boxes or your bags of plastics and everything else in there. The one directly behind it is a touch smaller. Again, you can still get your 3,700 boxes in there if you need to. Otherwise, there is a plug in the bottom. Go ahead and plug that up, fill it with ice. There's your cooler. Get your pops, your sandwiches, everything else you need for the day inside there. Um, the deck itself, long enough to, uh, to put your eight foot flipping rods, seven, six rods, no problem. Go ahead and lay them down there. Take your bungee, strap them down. You're good to go, run across the lake. Don't worry about your rods flying out of the boat or anything like that. Um, I think that's gonna kind of wrap it up for this TZX uh, 190 from Skeeter. It's a boat that they re-released this year. There was kind of a part of the market where this boat was missing. Uh, now it's back. So. I would just tell you guys, if you're looking, you know, you're, you're online, you're looking around, you're looking for that used bass boat, 
to get you to get to get you into maybe some tournament fishing. You're gonna go fish some club tournaments and things like that. Why go ahead and buy that boat that's gonna start nickel and diming you everything else when you can buy a brand new boat, low 30s. You know, do your financing. You can get into a boat like this, brand new again, for you know maybe $250 a month. Um, great low payment, everything else. Reliability from that Yamaha, plus um, full warranties, everything else. You're not going to worry about that stuff. So, uh, if you want to come in and take a look at this TZX190, stop in at our uh, Skeeter Boat Center in Ramsey or our Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin location. More than happy to talk to you about these boats. Um, if you want to go out for a ride in one, let us know. We'd take you out 12 months out of the year, no problem. Thanks again guys, Eric from Skeeter Boat Center.